Shoot! Fish! Drive! You can get involved with the Triple Crown and this year's clay shoot on June 5th, the fishing tournament on July 11th, or the golf outing on August 17th by going to debbiesflight.com and signing up today. If you can't make the events, then please buy a raffle ticket or make a donation. Thank you in advance for all your support. When it comes to fighting cancer, someday is today. Before we hit the course. Hi, Bob Heimbecker. I'm on the host committee for Debbie's Flight, the Triple Crown event of the Leah Valley. With me today is Jack Caparell. Jack's the general manager of Service Electric Cable TV. Jack, how come you guys are so big into this shoot? Uh, Bob, we're more than happy to sponsor a team for the Sporting Clay event for Debbie's Flight. Uh, we know the proceeds will go to the benefit of uh, leukemia and lymphoma society. And I know on a personal note from the people that worked here, we had some people that contacted this terrible disease and the outcome was in what we hoped it would be. And we're hoping that events such as this, in some small way, will help us reach the goal of not having to deal with leukemia in the future. And I know, Bob, when you and I grew up, our parents were concerned about polio. We're hoping that maybe we could erase that fear from the parents of today for their children. And that's what our researchers are telling us, that a child born today and diagnosed early, if they have leukemia, they will not die from it. The cure is that close. Thank you, Jack, and good luck today. I hope you don't shoot as well as I do. <laughs> Never do. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the special program. We're talking about Debbie's Flight, and you can learn more about it at Debbie'sFlight.com. And we're here today at Lehigh Valley Sporting Clays to raise money to fight cancer in every way, but especially through, uh, I'll, I'll let Steve tell us, but but especially lymphoma and leukemia, correct, Steve? And I'm here with Steve Agentis and his two sons. And Steve, I know this has been hard for you, Debbie. We're, this is an honor of your wife, Debbie. And let's talk about that just for a second because uh, it's not an easy thing. No, um, <clears throat> it's a great cause. You know, this is our second annual one for this, uh, for this event. And uh, certainly, you know, there's a lot of people who have been touched by um, leukemia and lymphoma and, and th all the blood diseases, really. Um, so, you know, this is a great cause to, to come out here and to be a part of, and it's an honor to be a part of, an honor, you know, to have my wife's name even involved with it. Um, we have survivors here shooting today. We have others that had loved ones that they, that they lost. So we feel very blessed to have this opportunity to put this program on uh, for this cause because there has been some great headway made in the uh, fight for these diseases and finding some cures and some great treatments, not only for the leukemia and lymphoma disease itself, but some of these cures have even, some of these uh, treatments have even been branched out into some of the other diseases around. Well, Steve, you know, most people will know you from uh, Agentis Plumbing or Roto-Rooter or what? Mr. Rooter, right? Mr. Rooter, yeah. Your, your face is all over the place. Uh, but this is a very important event. We want to encourage other people that may not be involved to still get involved. This is a triple crown event this year where you can actually go to a fishing next week and depending on when they're watching this. Uh, and then in September, there's a golf outing. Yes, correct. Uh, Next, next Saturday, there's a uh, bass tournament uh, at Lake Nakamixon. It's, there's still some openings left in that. Uh, we're looking forward to that. That's our first annual one. And then we have a great golf tournament up at Berkeley uh, Course. And uh, that's on September 6th. And we're, we have a good group forming up for that. So it's a great place, great course. So we're looking forward to uh, that fundraiser. Introduce your son here. This is Josh, right? How you doing? Josh, tell us a little bit about from your perspective what you're witnessing here, because this is, this is it, it hits home. I mean, this is an important part of helping other people that won't have to experience perhaps what went on in your life. Well, it's great to see everybody coming out for the event. Uh, it's been growing the last two years, and uh, we're excited to see that. More sponsors, more people out here. Um, it's a, it's something that affects everybody, either either someone in your family or a friend or a co-worker. Um, it's, it just reaches everybody's heart. So it's nice to see everybody coming out for it. So you want to encourage others to get involved? Absolutely, yeah. We're looking forward to the other events and we're hoping that everything keeps growing throughout the years to come. And we got Nate. And Nate, I know it's affected you as well, but you're here today. You're here to shoot. And uh, let's talk about it. Yeah, thanks. I uh, appreciate the opportunity that you're here talking with us. And, uh, you know, so often when you go through the trials of life, you feel alone. And when you come to an event like this, you see that there's a community and people that love you and care about you. And you get to be a part of that and see, like, hey, we're not alone in this battle, that we can work together and fight cancer and encourage one another and love one another through it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm going to do a little different. Okay, three, two, one. 
And now we're joined by one of the organizers, if not one of the prime organizers, Mr. Bob Heimbecker from Altronic Security Systems. And Bob, you have really invested a good bit of time and energy and enthusiasm in this project. Uh, let's talk about it for a second because it's personal to you. Very personal. Uh, Mark, who you met earlier, uh, he is a cancer survivor, know him a long time. Altronics has worked with Whitehead on a lot of high security jobs and uh, we're blessed at Altronics to be able to give back to the community. We've been here since 1959 and uh, we try hard to give back. We're involved in a lot of community effort. So let's talk about the, uh, this whole, this whole uh, Leukemia Lymphoma Society uh, because that became the real crux of what the money's being going for. Sure. If you remember, Art, you and I are old enough to remember the dreaded disease polio. When our folks uh, were raising us, that was the scare that your kid could get polio. Well, today it's tragic blood cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. Uh, our hope is that a child born today, diagnosed early, won't die from leukemia because we are there with the cure. So buying one of these 50-50 raffle tickets at debbiesflight.com, and invest in 20 bucks in your future. There's only 1,000 of these tickets, so your odds are better than any lottery I know out there. 9.99 to one. Shoot. Fish. Drive. You can get involved with the Triple Crown and this year's clay shoot on June 5th, the fishing tournament on July 11th, or the golf outing on August 17th by going to debbiesflight.com and signing up today. If you can't make the events, then please buy a raffle ticket or make a donation. Thank you in advance for all your support. When it comes to fighting cancer, someday is today. Boy, another exciting day here at the clay shoot, and today we're joined by Jack Caprelli, and I know you have an important guest next to you here you can introduce for us. Uh, this is my son, uh, Jack Caprelli. And uh, I know we're not going to win the tournament. My only hope is that I beat him. <laughs> and I don't know how Bob set this up, but today's the 13th. We're... Team 13, and we started on trap number 13. Oh, man. We broke them all. <laughs> so, so much for superstition. Well, we're here today supporting a great cause. Service Electric is supporting that great cause. And in your pocket here is a ticket to support the cause. These are $20 tickets where you can win, I think, $10,000. It sounds, it sounds like it's a very good amount, but it's for a very good cause. And I know, I know hitting home, uh, you know, the, the whole cause about lymphoma and cancer uh, is a really important thing to support. Right. And uh, we're very happy for everything and the effort you guys are putting forth. Now, is this the first time you're out shooting? I know it's not. No, a couple times. Yeah, a couple. You, you are a clay shooter. No, I like to shoot him. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just want to thank you for coming out and supporting the whole cause and Service Electric in general. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you, guys. We're now joined by a sponsor of the event, the Heritage Guild. Tell us about the Heritage Guild. What is that? Uh, the Heritage Guild is three store locations. We have two in New Jersey, one in Eastern Pennsylvania. We're basically your one-stop shop for everything sportsmen would like to do. Um, we have archery and firearms ranges as well as retail sales there. It looks like you got some bodyguards here today. You know, what, what's going on? I mean, you guys have a team. You're going out there to win, I suppose. Yeah, this is a great event to support. Um, we'd love to do that as the Heritage Guild. We do a lot of charity events. Um, we brought our, our team here today to go out and shoot, and hopefully we'll do pretty well. I got a feeling you guys have done this before and you're probably very good. Um, some of us have done this before and we'll say some of us are pretty good. But How important is it to support causes like this to defeat cancer? It's huge. You know, it's a very valuable thing to everyone in the community, everyone that's here today. Um, we, we really want to pride ourselves on the fact that we get out and we do events like this and we support events like this. Well, we're, we want to thank you on behalf of the community for being a part of this. And, you know, in a final word, what do we want to leave people thinking about? I mean, we want to encourage other people to get involved. The bigger this gets, the better it gets, the more money that's raised, and the more competition there is. Right. I'd love to say it's a great charity to support. It's a great cause, um, and it's a lot of fun. And, it's you know, it's always a good day to get out of the office and shoot. So that's why we love coming. And we're now joined by a couple of professional shooters that are about to hit this course. <laughs> and uh, tell us about who you are and what you do for a living. Uh, my name is Mark Whitehead. I'm an electrical contractor and a cancer survivor. And this is my son, Blaze. Hi, Blaze. He's 13. And... Uh, we got together a few years back after I had a, a bout with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and I am a cancer survivor of six years now, knock on wood. And uh, we got together with, uh, and mentioned it to Bob Heimbecker, I was suffering with cancer at the time, and Steve Agentis, that, you know, there's a need for some fundraising for the Cancer Society. And we got together and we formed a shooting event, and we've had the shooting event several years now, and, and now we've expanded on to, we have a golf event, we also have a fishing event, uh, so that we can raise funds to try and do away with this, uh, this disease. And, uh, 
you know, I don't want to see my kid have to grow up and go through what, you know, some of uh, us older people are going through. You know, it would be nice to do away with it all together if possible. Well, we want to thank you for all your involvement. You've been working hard at this. I know you spent a lot of time investing from your business time and everything else for it. I mean, and, and you want to encourage other people to do the same? Oh, absolutely. Anybody out there who would like to help, uh, you know, we have a website, Debbie's Flight. Uh, and, uh, you know, anybody wants to go there and be a sponsor or get involved or come to any of our events, again, we have fishing. Uh, we have a golf event coming up. Uh, we have a shooting event every year. Or if they want to be a sponsor or just make donations to the, to the Hodgkin's Lymphoma or the Lymphoma Leukemia Society, it would be greatly appreciated. And this year we have a Triple Crown event? Correct. We have uh, three events this year with a big 50-50 uh, drawing at the end where, like I said, we're doing the golf, the fishing, and the shooting. Now, in previous years, we only did the shooting. But we're trying to expand and get other people involved. That they may not shoot, but they may fish. They may golf. You know, just trying to open it up for everybody. Now, let's, let's see. Are you ready to go shoot? Yeah. Have you done this before? Yes. Are you going to do good? Yep. All right. What else are you going to tell everybody? Uh, that uh, be safe and to have a good fun time. We're now joined by Christine. Christine Ivina. Yes. Ivina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And tell us what your role in this is and what you're doing here. Sure. Absolutely. I'm the new campaign director for Like the Night for Leukemia Lymphoma Society. We have two events coming up. One is gonna be September 20th in Music, Pennsylvania. And our other local event is on October 11th at Coca-Cola Park in Lehigh Valley. So how important is it for everybody to stay involved and keep raising money for, for this? Oh gosh, it's so important. You know, we're just so thankful to have events like this, this Triple Crown event where all these sponsors are making it possible for, it's not just coming out for a walk, but now we have sporting events to include everyone. So the clay shooting, the fishing, the golfing, it's a, and all the money, it goes to research and also to help the families. So it's important to know that the research dollars have made such advancements, uh, you know, now, 40 years later, um, you know, in the 60s when a child was diagnosed, it was a slim chance that they would make it. Now, years later, there's a 90% chance that these children are going to make it. Oh, that's huge, 90%. So that yeah. means it's right on the right on the edge, right on the right there. So this is the time to push harder. It really is. I mean, when they say every dollar counts, every dollar really does count. So it's just it's so important to get out there. You know, you can join events like this where it's fun. At the same time, you're you're giving money to a great cause. And a final word: What do we want to leave people thinking about from your perspective uh, concerning how they can help Leukemia and Lymphoma Society uh, all through the year? You know, get on LLS.org. We, uh, we're branching out to do more community events. You can volunteer. You can raise money. You can have events, sporting events, bake sales. Whatever you want to do to get together as a team to support the friends and family. It, there's so many ways to get involved. Cool. Shoot! Fish! Drive! You can get involved with the Triple Crown and this year's clay shoot on June 5th, the fishing tournament on July 11th, or the golf outing on August 17th by going to Debbie'sFlight.com and signing up today. If you can't make the events, then please buy a raffle ticket or make a donation. Thank you in advance for all your support. When it comes to fighting cancer, someday is today. second half of this program where I'm now talking with Mr. Bob Heimbecker from Altronic Security Systems about part two of Debbie's Flight Triple Crown. Bob, you know, we were at the clay shoot a week ago. Now we're here at Lake Nakamixon. Beautiful day. Tell us about what's going on. Well, the beauty of this whole thing is that uh, we probably had 50, 60 calls on this particular event and 26 boats showed up today. This is our first event. It's the second of the Triple Crown, but it's the first time that we've ever done a bass tournament and the turnout has been fabulous. I mean, the support in the community for the fight against blood cancers is, is huge. Now here we are, you know, leaning on a nice boat, you know, the fishermen are out in the lake, they're fishing. We're going to, in a few minutes, go out with, with a boat and quietly talk to them so we don't chase the fish away. Uh, but what can they win and how, how is that all wrapped in? 
Well, uh, Steve and Janice uh, came up with this idea last year of, geez, there's some way we can do a triple crown. And we put our heads together and we came up with a Sporting Clays event, which was last week, fabulous event, uh, 70, 80 shooters out for that. Uh, then today we have this first timer and then we are going to have a golf event September the 6th at Berkeley Country Club. And the beauty of it is if you're not a golfer, if you don't shoot and you're not a fisherman, you can still enter the Triple Crown by buying one of the tickets and they're available online or from any of us. If you're an Altronics customer, call me. If you're an Essagenis customer, call them. Now, as people are seeing this on television, okay, uh, the golf tournament is yet to come. And uh, they can also get involved in that golf tournament. Uh, do you remember the date of that? It is September the 6th. It'll be the Saturday after Labor Day. So, guys, girls, after you had your family out on Labor Day, come play golf. Relax with us. Yeah, and so if someone has missed the fishing and they didn't make the clay shoot, of course, there's next year. but. This coming September, they can still get involved and they can go to Debbie'sFlight.com to do that. That's correct. And the big thing to remember on the Triple Crown ticket, there's only a thousand tickets. So you buy one, I think the odds are better than any lottery 999 to one. You only spent $20 and it went to cancer, it went to cancer research. So it's a, it's a, it's a no brainer. Buy the ticket. So wrap up this segment. What do we want to leave people thinking about? Debbie'sFlight.com and the Triple Crown. That's what you want to support. It's only a $20 ticket. Come see us. Debbie'sFlight.com. We are now joined by Steve Agentis from Mr. Reuter, S. Agentis Kitchen and Bath, Plumbing and everything else, right, yeah. Steve? Yeah, you got it all there. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are on a beautiful day, a week after the clay shoot. Uh, did you ever think that you'd see such a beautiful day? And how many boats were here today for the uh, bass fishing tournament? And I want to tell you, we are we are just so blessed with this weather and you know the coverage of uh, you know Channel Two has just been great. Um, we're really so thankful for their participation in this thing um, it's a it's a it's a rarity to have that opportunity on our first year um, so you know the shoot was great last week we dodged a huge bullet with the weather and uh, this one is perfect we had you know great turnout for our first year we're really looking forward to building on this next year we think it's going to be a lot bigger we're going to be a lot smarter at it as well and um, there was a lot of excitement with the guys going out and fishing this morning there's a lot of guys that love this lake it's a great lake to fish you know, the, 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 the parks people have been great. Everybody's been really helpful in putting this all together. Well, you know, it's all part of building a community right here. Now you're building an alert community about uh, lymphoma and, and, and cancer, blood cancer. Um, and you are pulling together people who believe in that cause. Uh, I know Service Electric, who's been, as you said, so helpful, really cares about the community and has, gets involved in situations like this. And, and they always are out there covering great community events. So in regard to this, I mean, people who are here today, they're, gonna, they're here to fish. But beyond that, what can people do? How can they help? Well, you know, certainly there's plenty of businesses out there that there's all kinds of sponsorship opportunities. We have that golf tournament coming up on September 6th, and so there's great opportunities to, to get involved. And, you know, sure, as a business, I'm a business owner, we get some benefit out of that. But more importantly, you know, we get out there and we're able to uh, get behind a cause like this in the Valley. And I'll tell you what, the Lehigh Valley people are absolutely amazing. You know, I've been involved with... Uh, LLS now for only this I think my sixth year and I am amazed at the push behind this particular disease you know and listen cancer as it was said in a, earlier it touches everybody you know somebody in your family somebody you know some co-worker whatever we've lost you know I've lost my wife we've lost a co-worker um, someone else we know has just been diagnosed with it two days ago um, it, it's it's a tough, tough situation, but with the love and the and the support of the community like that, Lea Valley is a great place, absolutely a great place. We are now joined by Glenn Wimmer, and Glenn, thank you for taking a minute to be with us here. It's a beautiful day at Lake Nakamixon, and we're standing in front of a boat here. Maybe tell us a little bit about your involvement here today and the second uh, part of Debbie's Flight Triple Crown. Debbie's Flight Triple Crown is bass fishing tournament, and uh, we got a good tournament here. We got uh, 26 boats. 
We want to thank uh, all the sponsors that have sponsored this. It's been a tremendous outcome. And uh, one of them is uh, Gary Wimmer with Highway Marine. He's, uh, he has a boat here on display. We have one for sale. Uh, he also is a prize sponsor. And again, our thanks really goes to all these uh, uh, people. Um, I myself is a co-chairman along with Mr. Bob Heimbecker. So, you know, Glenn, you do a lot of things to help. Uh, tell us about the cause. It's Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Uh, tell us why you're involved in that. I'm involved with it because about two years ago I had cancer. I had cancer on my face and my back. And uh, I, they got it all cleaned up and I'm fine. And I started to realize cancer touches everybody. I don't think there's a family that I know that they don't have a family member that has cancer problem one way or another so it's a tremendous cause and with a lack of money today in today's world we all need to chip in and we all need to help and in a final word what would you say to other people that might be watching i mean they can participate in this they maybe weren't here today fishing but there's still a website they can contribute on the website you know maybe encourage a few people yes go to debbie's uh, flight.com and we have a uh, ticket on there a 50 50 ticket and uh, that ticket, there's only 1,000 tickets, $20 a ticket. That means somebody's going to win $10,000. So th anybody can do that. You do not have to be present to win. The drawing will be on September 6th. Part of Debbie's crown is the golf tournament at Lehigh Berkeley, September 6th. Now, keep an eye on what we're doing because next year we're going to try and build this as Debbie's Triple Crown and have teams that uh, participate in a skeet shoot, bass uh, fishing tournament, and a golf match. It's awesome. Thank you for your support. We're now joined by Keith Young from Young uh, Plumbing and Heating. And Keith, thank you for being here today. I know you're out to support the cause. Tell us why you're here and what's going on. Well, it's a, it's a great cause for the Agenis family and for in Debris memory. And uh, we've been friends with the Agenis family for many, many years and actually fish with Steve and Debbie in Canada. And so my dad and I decided to come out and support the cause. It's a great cause for leukemia and lymphoma. And uh, also the Agenis are doing a wonderful job honoring their mother. Yeah, isn't that great? And it's also a beautiful day. What, what more could you ask for? Perfect, perfect. There's no better place to be than on a lake on a beautiful day like this and enjoying this great weather. So, you know, if somebody uh, needs to find Young Plumbing and Heating, where are you guys located? We're in Bethlehem on Union Boulevard, 60s Union Boulevard in Bethlehem. Well, thank you for being a part of this great cause. No problem. Our pleasure. Thank you. Can I have your name, please? Kevin Phelps, Al Furbacher. How would it feel? Well, good. Good. It's a great event. Appreciate it. Real good, real good, very organized. Well, what did you do to get that boat? How'd you get that one in the boat? Well, uh, we caught them pretty much early on a, on a ledge. We found a, I found a good school um, this week for, in practice, and uh, we got them really first thing in the morning, and then later in the day, he caught a really nice one um, to really anchor the bag. Okay, well, you get a chance now. What do you want? We're going to take the... I'll probably get go for the cash. We'll take the first place, guys. <laughs> they want the beer money. Give them the $1,000, and... Steve Agenis is here to present that. Gentlemen, great job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you appreciate very much. It. We really appreciate your participation. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. Great thanks job, guys. Again. Good job, guys. Round of applause. Second place, boat number five. Where's the representatives from boat number five? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to turn around here, face the camera. Okay. <laughs> and who do we have? Kevin Gurgle, Glenn Burrell. And how'd you do it? We got lucky and got a few key bites at the right time. Did you have one that might have done it for him? Can he get away? No, uh, we had a couple yeah. of those. Yeah. Uh -huh, that close, huh? Definitely. Okay, moment of truth. What would you like? We'll take the cash. You'll take the cash. $300. Cash cash. Where's Mr. Agenis? 300 Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please step thank over you. and Thanks do your favor. Me. Kevin. Kevin, you've been instrumental in getting this done for us. We really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, you have a good Thanks. one. Thanks, Thanks so welcome. much. Okay, team uh, team number one gets third place and the Lunker Award. Now, we've got we have two hundred dollars. Come on over here. Come on over here. Who do, who do we have here? Tony Slaughter, Steve Caro. Okay, gentlemen. We have two hundred dollars, and I'll let you take a look at those uh, right there in case you want, might want one of those uh, trips instead of the, the cash. 
Cash. Cash. Okay, cash is king. First, we get two hundred dollars for your third place finish. Nice Thank job. Win or lose, we booze, right? And the Lunker Award. Lunker Award, three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, two. I'm sorry. Two hundred and fifty. Twenty-five boats. Ten dollars a boat. Two fifty. It was nice. I wasn't so good with math. That's okay. That's okay. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Yep. You can see Steve right over there. Fourth place. Fourth place, boat number 15. No, no, no. Oh, look at this. We got we got the seniors and the juniors here. And I see you got a Beretta shirt on there. That means we're going to see you at the shoot next year, right? We hope so. Oh, good. Okay, come on over here. Tell us who we have. Glenn Wimmer, Jr. Brian Wimmer. So we have the Wimmers. And uh, I, your dad's one of the organizers, is he not? Good. So how would you get those big ones in the boat? He got most of them. He did? Yeah. Did you get some credit for it? I got him with the net. Beauty. Good okay. Job, Real teamwork here. Okay, guys, you got your choice. What would you like? Rainbow Trout Lodge or ocean fishing? We're going to take the ocean fishing. You're going to go with ocean fishing. Okay, Steve? More of a shake hands. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Good job. And sixth place, boat number 17, or team number 17. Sixth place. Fifth place. Boat number eight. I got two left. See, I thought I had one. Okay. No. No. You will always be famous. No worry there. No worry. Yep. Come over here, right here for me. He's the only darn guy wearing Ranger for crying out yeah. loud. Okay. So, how'd you do it? Uh, first of all, I'm Roberto. This is Randy. And, uh, How you doing? Basically, most of the day we targeted grass yeah. and uh, you know, uh, soft plastics and jigs and stuff. Early bite, late bite, but all day. Yeah, all we were, day we, we were, steady. We were flipping grass in anywhere from five to seven foot of water. Wonderful. Started out real good, it slowed up, and then we come through and we got a got a decent limit. Great. Well, we thank you for coming out and supporting thank you. Debbie's Lures. Thank you. Cures. Appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Thank you. We've got Rainbow Trout Lodge. What, what, we got? what, what is this? Is that, is that that's a trip? Is that, is that the Ontario nice. trip? Yep. 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 There you go, guys. Is that Great. is that for four, four two four, guys? Two uh, guys. Four guys. Four guys overnight. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Thank yep. you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Guys, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Good job, guys. Sixth place. Number seventeen. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Step into the camera view here, please. Thank you very much. And who do we have? Dave Kimenauer. Keith Thomas. So how'd you do it? Nice and slow, jigging a lot today. Had a great early morning bite, slowed up for us uh, later on in the morning and this afternoon, put another solid fish in the boat to give us sixth place, and uh, here we are. Yep, and ditto. Yep. Yep, jigging. Beauty, yep. okay. Well, the guys that are fishing tomorrow just got some really good hints, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, sure did. Well... Not such a bad last place, is not it? Not at all. That's okay. Awesome. Not at Thank all. you, guys. We really Thank appreciate so it. Thank you. Great. Great. Thank you. Where is Steve Agenis? Steve. Can we get him over here, please? I guess not. Well, that wraps it up for Debbie's Lords for Cures, and we hope to see everybody over at the Keelersville Inn or the Keelersville's Club on uh, Ridge Road, just over about a mile from here. Steve? Anything else you'd like to say to everybody that uh, came out and supported Debbie's Lures for Cures? No, I just want to thank all the participants, all the support, all the uh, volunteers that came out. It was a great first tournament. We're really looking forward to next year. And uh, thank you, Lehigh Valley. Thank you, Channel 2. Did a great job. Thank you, Service Electric TV 2. Shoot. Fish. Drive. You can get involved with the Triple Crown and this year's clay shoot on June 5th, the fishing tournament on July 11th, or the golf outing on August 17th by going to Debbie'sFlight.com and signing up today. If you can't make the events, then please buy a raffle ticket or make a donation. Thank you in advance for all your support. When it comes to fighting cancer, someday is today. <laughs>